Welcome to another WorkNC Tips and Tricks video. Today we are going to show you a way to help reduce your roughing calculation times. As of WorkNC version 2018, there is a new option when creating a work zone called Roughing Activation Parameters. In previous versions of WorkNC, we had activation parameters for scaling factor and activation tolerance. These parameters control the precision of the finished model. The larger the scaling factor, the more precise the toolpath would be. The smaller the scaling factor, the less precise the toolpath would be. Changing the scaling factor to a larger number would increase toolpath calculation times and increase accuracy. Making the scaling factor smaller would decrease calculation times and decrease accuracy. For the most part, there was no need to change the scaling factor, unless you were cutting very large parts or very small parts, or parts with a very high level of detail. The problem with this method was that it affected all toolpaths in the work zone. We now provide two activation parameters, one for finishing and one for roughing. To use the roughing activation parameters, we need to tick the checkbox. By default, the scaling factor is set to 0.5 and the tolerance is set to 3 micron or just under 8 tenths. You can untick the default checkbox and enter your own values. If you choose to use your own values, there are some rules that must be followed. The roughing scale factor must be smaller than the finishing scale factor and the tolerance must be larger than the finishing activation tolerance. Keep in mind that the scale factor is applied, then the tolerance. For example, if a scale factor of 0.5 and a tolerance of 3 micron are used, the real effect of the model is a tolerance of 6 micron. For our example, I will use a 1 thou tolerance and a 0.3 scale factor. Now that I have the work zone created, I will import a roughing sequence I have previously set up. Here I have used a waveform toolpath. The roughing model option is also available in global rough and flat surface roughing. Looking at the toolpath parameters, we can see a new checkbox in the tolerances section we will run this path without activating the checkbox. Toolpath 1 ran using the standard activation parameters and finished in 16 minutes and 1 second. Now we will create another toolpath and activate the Use Roughing Model tick box. Toolpath 2 ran using the roughing activation parameters and finished in 10 minutes and 18 seconds. That is a time savings of just over 35%. Give this new option a try with your parts and try different tolerance values to see how much time you can save. As always, we hope you found this tech tip helpful and would like to encourage you to explore all the available WorkNC tech tips.